Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my new video on how to train in YOLO V5 model using custom data set. And this is a vision architecture series. And in last video, we have uh, learned how to label images using label studios as well as uh, using audio classification, like labeling audio for audio classifications. So let's go into the topic. If you haven't watched my before see before video that how to export labeled uh, data in YOLO format then I kindly recommend you to watch the video so let's go into the topic so here I have opened the Google Collab so Google Pro Collab provides free GPUs and GPUs as well as RAM So it's a wonderful toolkit. So this is an Alternatix YOLO V5. And YOLO V5 is found by Alternatix team. And they have provided the documentation for YOLO V5 for training customs and for inferencing also. And this is the performance start of YOLO V5, YOLO versions, YOLO different versions like YOLO V5, YOLO V6, YOLO V7, YOLO V8 and their uh, speed as well as latency with different parameters in uh, the different data set with the map uh, the map is mean average precisions its accuracy and validations using their validation sets so they have given the different uh, type different stuffs for data set training and deploying even so now let's you now we gonna do have to train the model using the custom data set so here in environment section you could find in collab icon so just click and open in new uh, open in link new tab and you will be directed to this page this is a new the new documentation how to train and detect as well as validate they have provided every of the steps now we need these are the things they have provided visualize and even train and deploy in different apps as well and many of uh, the companies have provided the inference engine as well now we gonna copy this code and paste it uh, paste it in our notebook so we have pasted it and make sure that you have changed the runtime to GPU and click save as well and run this first cell you just gonna copy the first thing to this is just first line is about cloning the YOLO v5 project then directing to YOLO v5 folder then installing the requirements and just importing the Python and util checks then displaying the progress yeah we have run here and yeah it's successfully completed then second step is to upload our data set to our drive so I have uploaded my data into the drive so you could find the labels as well as image things if you go to image you could find the image where we have exported in label studio and labels it's given in text file so this will be this is class this is the x min x max and y min my y max so this is the coordinates of the bounding box and we gonna train it now using yolo v5 so now we gonna go with yolo v5 then our data is right here data you can find the images and labels here so I gonna do one thing here here comes the another step of training first step of training training images so here is the we could find data here so click on the data and you could find the YAML file here you gonna create a new file so just name it as 
custom custom dot yaml so i have named as custom dot yaml and open this doku one two three yaml and just copy paste from train So we have copied it and we have to paste it in our custom yaml then we should take every of these things just train and validate for training you should give the images path not here i gonna give my data set path open the data and images path just open it and copy path if you if you split it to train as well as test then you could give the path of train and test it it depends on the requirements and as of now i gonna give both same images to validation and train as well and my label is top as of now for demo purpose i have only trained one images and this is for sample purpose you could train uh, how much ever images you need and make sure that you give the index values correctly uh, for reference you could uh, you you could refer with class dot text which is given here and i'm going to save it change all occurrence and i'm going to close it to make sure uh, what gpu you are using you just type nvidia or type it nvidia smi just run it yeah you my uh, cuda version is 12.0 and i have uh, allocated to tesla t4 nvidia tesla t4 that's great and i i gonna train it now train my data set now and for that i gonna copy the path where i could this is validation in training section you could find the code where it is yeah here it is now i gonna copy this and paste it to my custom yolo v5 so after pasting it i gonna run my custom file custom.yaml and you can choose the epoch as well and now for demo purpose i gonna choose 3 and i don't gonna have 16 batches so i gonna choose one this is gonna be 640 as well and i could even choose the model based on yolo v yolo v5 small nano or uh, extra large anything else you gonna choose and i gonna run i gonna run this and it's running quite fine that's yeah, running and file not found error oh you could find this custom so i gonna copy this part directly paste Now I gonna run it. Yeah, it's running properly. Yeah, that you could see the tensor board as well, local host. Error handling. So the loading data from no images found. Oh, that's that's sad actually. So what I gonna do is what I gonna do is as of now I gonna train found image. So just I gonna
as of now I'm gonna rename it to tau these steps you don't want to follow it because uh, I'm just uh, showing it for demo purpose and I'm gonna rename this also School. For demo purpose, I'm gonna do this, but it's uh, it's a warning. You should not do this. I'm just gonna train it, and yeah, it's running. Yeah, you could see the parameters as well. Yeah, it's training. Yeah, the first step of this. High precision and my best weight is saved in this file so it's weights dot best dot pt where it is runs dot weights yeah I could find here will be five mm. train Find in runs. I'm gonna refresh it, but didn't find anything. Yeah, I could find it. Run start train. Yeah, I could find x2 here. Then, yeah, here is my weights. The best model dot pt. Just download it in your local system. And we gonna use this model in future purpose for inferencing to run inference and convert it to convert it into the onyx format. So to convert it into onyx format, you could go with uh, I could convert it now by using converting to on X format so you could find the uh, you just you could find the command CLI command here I could go here and I just uh, need to see the export dot py yeah here it is and I just copy this path export py into dot script and onyx yeah I could just copy it and paste it here so that I could I could uh, convert it into onyx format so I just need onyx or dot script I'm just gonna run it so here it is running and I have downloaded the my best dot pt file in future I gonna use these two models and run the inference on different frameworks like OpenCV and fill.images and in in future we gonna create a web app as well and I'll I'll just let you know how to deploy these applications in cloud as well and uh, use this application to containerize in docker and step by step we're gonna learn it and stay tuned with stay tuned with me guys in the onyx format i've saved and content you will be fine you will be fine so here i probably it will be in here yeah here it is here it is you will find the model here so thank you thank you guys thank you for stay tuned and just watching it and i hope this would be helpful for you this uh, video would be helpful for you and if you couldn't understand how to label 
label the images and export to Euro form. You just watch my pre video which I have posted before. And thank you for watching this video, guys. And stay tuned with uh, stay tuned with more videos and more learnings. And happy learning. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.